Hi, Twin Flames, Lisey here. This is a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I love you. You're amazing. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be using the Soul's Journey lesson cards. And whether you have Sagittarius in your sun sign or moon sign or in your twin flame person's sun, moon, rising, every, everything in your chart, um, most of you have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. And for those of you who don't, it's okay. You can watch this video and receive what you're meant to because it is a timeless reading. So if you stumbled upon it, it's meant for you. So the Soul Journey lesson cards are very spiritual and they, it's, they're beautiful. If you look at the back, it's just gorgeous. Um, and what we're doing is we're, we're pulling cards to see kind of like what is coming up in the collective for Sagittarius energy. Like, what are you facing? What is it that you can't see? And then how to move through it. So we're going to be pulling some cards. Let, let's see what you're facing first. Okay, those are shuffled. You've got some fear coming up. So you're afraid of something. And regarding your twin flame journey, this fear can be um, afraid that you won't get to have your good, afraid of abandonment. It's really important to identify your fear. Um, Jeff and Shalia, who are my spiritual teachers, they wrote this book behind me here. Um, they, they talk about in their twin flame healing meditations that once you place attention on something, you're, you begin to heal it, right? So when you start to put attention on fear, on not following the rabbit down the rabbit hole, but identifying, oh, I'm afraid of this, then you can start to practice something called the mirror exercise and heal yourself. So Sagittarius, you're really needing to identify what it is that you're afraid of in your life. Okay, so the next card... <laughs> We've got what you're facing is regret. I know that I cannot change the past at the bottom of this card. So you're kind of combined with this fear. Like you're, I think what this is really demonstrating both of these together, what you're facing is you feel that you've done something wrong and you're being really hard on yourself. You're being really hard on yourself. So you cannot, I want to tell you, you cannot mess up your twin flame union. It was created in divinity and you didn't create the world and the planets and the mountains, right? The Almighty did. And the Almighty created your union. And the Almighty doesn't create things that can be easily messed up by your block or upset, right? So it's really important for you to... I think that there's a part of you that's like holding on to this regret for dear life. Because if you let it go, that's scarier to you than being in the comfort of regret. I know that sounds kind of oxymoronic, but oxymoron, go look it up if you don't know what it is. Anyway, um, it, it's that you, um, you're you getting something, some kind of secondary benefit out of having these fears and regrets because maybe you're comfortable there. Maybe the unknown of not having those things is scarier for you. Let's find out one more. Okay, humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay, so this is kind of like going into your way through. Just let it go. And well, oops, I messed up on that one. You know, use your humor. You're, you're hilarious, Sagittarius. That's why you are beloved among the Zodiac. People love being around you because of your humor. So use it with yourself. Let, your, let yourself remember that your Twin Flame Union is permanent and you cannot damage it no matter what you do. You can't block it from happening. You can't, um, you don't have that kind of power, right? Like even, even if you think your upsets were really big and strong and you did that terrible mean thing, said that terrible mean thing, that doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to pull another card for you. So this is what you can't see. Um, discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So I want you to look at how beautiful this tapestry on the discipline is. It's like a quilt. And if you imagine the discipline that it takes to create a quilt, you know, you've got to sew it. Sagittarius and all fire signs have a little bit of like attention problems. Um, and so this discipline is challenging for you. So you need to be mindful that the discipline is challenging. But what I want to encourage you to do because I'm a fire sign as well. And um, I want to encourage you to take steps to make it fun. 
make it a game. If you are noticing that your um, relationship with your finances is hurting or your relationship with your food is hurting, probably a lot of that has to do with the fact that you're not systematic in your presence with those things. You're not looking at your bank account regularly. You're not looking at the calories or what you eat. You're just kind of doing things blindly. And it's just that blindness that's getting you. It's nothing else. You're capable of balancing your checkbook and, and growing your wealth. Um, it's it's really important for you to have this discipline because um, you are capable of so much. So make it a game. Make it fun for you. You're not going to you're not going to discipline yourself or be disciplined if it's boring and monotonous. It doesn't have to be. How does it have to do with your twin flame? It has everything to do with your twin flame union because you cannot live with your twin flame if you're living in a cardboard box. You just will be miserable. You need to get up on your finances, etc., to be in a harmonious union. Nobody attains harmonious union in a cardboard box. It's okay that you're working on stuff. You don't have to be perfectly healed to be with your twin flame, but it's just, it's better for you to start now in these processes. And one really great tool for you, um, if you're really like, I struggle with this, go to the mindalignmentprocess.org and check out their health and wellness coaching because they do touch on areas of your, of your physical life. Okay. The next card of what you don't see is acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Okay. So the part of this card that is for you, Sagittarius, in your twin flame journey is you have decided that you cannot change your twin flame union. That is false. Um, the things, except the things I cannot change means you have to identify what it is you actually can't change. And you've lumped in your twin flame union. Oh, it'll never get better than this. Oh, I'll never be with my twin flame. Oh, this... That's not true. You can be with your one true love. You can be with your twin flame in harmonious union. That You can learn to heal yourself. You can practice the teachings of union. You can um, really give yourself the gift of support. You can move forward and you can have support while you do it. The things you cannot change or you can't control someone else's choice, right? You can't control what your twin flame is doing. But you can look at it and say, oh, they're my mirror. I'm going to do the mirror exercise if what they're doing upsets me in any way. Even if it's they're in a third party situation or you are whatever it is. Even if you haven't heard from them in months. Do the mirror exercise for every single upset. Go deep into your feelings. Feel your feelings and love yourself there with the mirror exercise. Don't try to do it without the mirror exercise because you'll just get into some cloudy soup of your emotions. Let me know if you want some help with the mirror exercise. I have groups where I help you through the mirror exercise every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay. What else can't you see? You've got service, the service card. Isn't this a beautiful card? I feel good when I can help others. Yes, Sagittarius. Service is um, really important on your twin flame journey because what my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, shared that I have tested out and it works to keep something, you must share it. So if you receive um, a blessing on your twin flame journey, if you keep it all to yourself and run away to the hills with it, well, that's not entirely what the blessing is for. It is for you. Like you are designed to receive, right? Like you, you can have all your good. You can't, but it's not to hoard if that makes sense. Like you don't, you shouldn't feel forced to share and to serve. Nobody should feel forced, right? This should come out of joy. If you're doing something, if you're, if you're trying to serve out of pressure or fear that you're going to lose out or someone's going to get mad at you, that's not actual service. Like if you have to take from Peter to rob from Peter to pay Paul or whatever that expression is, that's not going to help you. That's not service. Service should be done in joy. Um, and it's, like the, the bottom of the card says, I feel good when I can help others. So choose to find ways to serve that feel good to you, that it should always feel good to you or it's not service. Okay, any uh, words that uh, the divine would like to communicate with you? Okay, so we have, oh, the death card. 
great. So Sagittarius, you can handle this. Let go of this separation consciousness. This, the, let that die. Let the separation consciousness die. Let you holding on to what if, what if, but what if I did, but that, blah, 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 blah. Like you're the classic kings and queens of the but, 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 right? Let go of the but and put an and in there instead. Um, use your uh, God-given gifts and the support that I'm offering for you and let go of your pattern so that you can be with your one true love. Death itself is not real. You're an eternal being. Let go of death as an illusion, right? And stop thinking of but, but physical bodies. Okay, you're the king and queens of the but in the sentence, right? Let that go. That is where you're like stubbing yourself in the foot. And what the card on the bottom says, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. There may be a relationship that you need to let go of that is harming you. Maybe a series of relationships, maybe a whole pattern of how you're relating to others that you can let go of. So that's what that is. Okay. More healing cards. Change. If you want something, you need to change. You cannot claim your harmonious twin flame union if you're staying the same. I'm sorry. It just won't work. The bottom says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yes. So if you need support, don't try to do it on your own. You cannot. Um, get this book that's behind me, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. You can find that on the Twin Flames Universe website. Try Twin Flame Ascension School, which you can check out on the Twin Flames Universe website. Try an introductory Twin Flame coaching session with me. Um, you can get 50% off of your first session if you email me and I'll let you know, or I can just share, share with you here. If you go to the Twin Flames Universe website and you download their free introductory Twin Flame Ascension course, and then let me know that you've done that, I'll give you 50% off your first session with me. So uh, my email address is twinflamesheartsdesire at gmail.com, and I'd love to help you to change. So Sagittarius, that completes our reading for today. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like and subscribe this video. Look in the box underneath this video in the description for links to all the things that I shared about. And I want to wish you many blessings and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.